All right, to get started here, uh, you're going to need a couple of tools for your computer. The first one is Zypeg. It's right here, this little sheep guy, Z-I-P-E-G. I'm going to put all of these things that I talk about in the description of the video with links so you can find them there. Zypeg is essentially like 7-zip. Uh, it unzips zipped files uh, which are compressed to be able to send over the internet faster and then you'll need window 32 disk imager is essential because that program will write the system image of my nara onto the sd card so first things first if you're using an old sd card that might have other stuff on it you're going to want to find the sd card right click on it and go into format and just click start I know there's nothing on mine, it's empty, I'll go ahead with it anyway. Format is complete, we got a fresh card. Second thing we're going to do is we want to go to Minera, M-I-N-E-R-A, and you just hit enter. It's going to be the second one down. This is actually uh, an open source program. The guy does this for free, which is pretty awesome. Uh, feel free to donate some Bitcoins to him. But um, we're going to go up into the top bar, and it says Download. Then it brings us right down to the Raspberry image files. You're going to want to auto-install. You click Download Image. And it gives you instructions for Windows, Mac, and Linux, depending on what you're using. We're going through Windows. I've actually already downloaded this file to save time. You would just click Save File, OK, and then the file will eventually show up in your downloads. And then you will right-click on the file and open it with Zypeg Archive Explorer, and it will unzip the file. So since I've already done that, we will just go straight to it. And this is what it will look like. is just an open folder with a CD in it. So after you've downloaded the image and unzipped it with Zypeg, you're going to open Window 32 Disk Imager. And yes, we're going to allow it to do what it wants to do. You click on the blue folder, and we are essentially finding the system image that we wish to write to the SD card. I know mine is on the desktop. It's just under my NARA right here, my NARA latest image. You would click my NARA latest image, open, and then you have the option to write to disk. Again, I have already done this to save time, but you will write to the disk. It will say write successful, and you can just close this off. And then in the bottom right-hand corner of your computer, you're going to want to eject the drive so you don't corrupt it. Eject USB storage. And now we officially have my NARA written to an SD card, and it's time for the next step.